Have you got past clients in your database and you haven't talked to them in so long and you're scared to call them because you don't know what to say? Today I got you covered. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about what to say to past clients you haven't talked to in a while. I know this is a big fear in the industry and I wanted to address it today. Before I get started, do me a big favor and help me become the number one real estate speaker in the world by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell. I'm doing my best every week to bring you the highest quality real estate content that I can, hoping that it will help you become the number one agent in your area and reduce the failure rate in the industry. So I get this question quite often about, if you have a past client that you haven't talked to in a while, what do you say? I think agents are worried that the past client's gonna be mad that they haven't stayed in touch and so on and so forth. So let's just dive into this real quick. So if you have a client that you haven't talked to in a while, here's the thing. When you call them, number one, the first thing you need to know is when you call them, they are going to be happy to hear from you. They're gonna be glad to call. They're gonna be happy to hear your voice. You're gonna know this as soon as you call them, they answer the phone and you say who you are, you can tell by their tone and you know the way that they're talking to you, you're gonna feel that they're happy that you called. So that's the first thing you need to realize is that when you call a past client you haven't talked to in a while, they're gonna be even more happy to, to, to talk to you. So definitely don't have the fear going in that they're gonna be upset with you or not happy that you haven't stayed in touch. They're gonna be happy to hear from you and you need to call them, especially if you haven't talked to them in a while you need to call them and check on them, see how they're doing, see what you can do to help them and let them know that you are here for them. So when I call past clients I haven't talked to in a while, I'm gonna use the same approach that I use when I'm cold calling people. I'm gonna say, hey, Mr. Johnson, or first name if we're really that close or whatever the case may be, I'm gonna say their name and I'm gonna say, hey, it's Ricky Carruth at Remax of Orange Beach, how you doing? Right? I'm gonna have a lot of enthusiasm when I, when I say that line and I'm gonna pause and I'm waiting to hear how they react. Their reaction to that line is gonna tell me everything. It's gonna tell me if they're happy to hear from me, if they remember me, so on and so forth. Now, everything about my phone scripts is about reading people. We're asking questions to see how they react and then we're gonna react to their reaction and we're gonna go with the flow of the conversation. And our entire job is to A, get into a conversation that we can find out what's going on and how we how can we help them. So I'm gonna call them up, I'm gonna make sure I'm talking to the right person, I'm gonna say, hey, it's Ricky Crew 3 Makes Orange Beach, how you doing? And then I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna let them respond and then I'm gonna go with the flow from there. They're gonna say, yeah, we're doing good, Ricky, how you been doing? And I'm gonna say, I'm doing good too, man, I'm just enjoying the day down here, it's gorgeous down here on the beach or wherever I'm at. Um, and just kind of let them respond to that. So if you'll see, just like my phone scripts to cold calling, I'm gonna use the same thing. How are you doing? I'm gonna talk about the weather. And you know, the weather is something that everyone can relate to. And it's, it's an icebreaker. It just really loosens everybody up and takes all the pressure off of, is this a sales call, right? I think that the pressure of the, being a sales call is what really hurts a lot of agents. And they get nervous. The, the prospect can feel the nervousness over the phone and if you just loosen them up with a little bit of non-pressure, non-salesy uh, material like the weather, then it really makes everything so much better moving forward into going into the sales part of the call. So then you're going to say something you know, the same as the, the cold call uh, phone script that I have, which is, I don't want to take too much of your time. I was just calling to check on you. Is there anything in the world I can do for you? Right? That would be, you know, my most commonly used approach. Now, I may go into a specific market detail. I may say I don't want to take too much of your time, but, you know, this sold or that sold around you. If I'm calling, you know, somebody I know and I knew something was going on in the market around them, um, maybe I sold them the property and something else around them sold. Maybe I sold it to them two years ago, hadn't talked to them since. I just noticed something sold in the neighborhood. I'm calling to let him no. So you can use market information or you can just say, hey, I don't want to take a too much of your time. I was just calling to check on you, see if there's anything in the world I can do for you. 
and just take the conversation from there. See how they're doing, you know, ask them what their long-term plans are. How's that house I sold you? How's this? How's that? How's your family? You know, and just really kind of, you know, maintain, you're, you're trying to go deeper with the relationship right here and find out what you can really do to help them. So. I think it's very important to reconnect with your past clients and I think that fear holding you back from calling them is really hurting you. You really need to reconnect with these people. Now if you call them and they act like they don't remember who you are, that's fine too. You say, oh no, it's Ricky Carruth, remember? I did this or I did that, I sold you this or I sold that property for you or whatever the case may be. And they're either gonna remember or they're not. And if they don't, if they don't ever remember you, that's okay too. We're gonna get involved in this conversation. We're gonna find out what we can do to help them. That's the name of the game. Not getting caught up with the little road bumps of what if this and what if that. Plowing right through all of your fears and all of the negatives and just getting right to the point. How can we help you? So if you'll notice my strategy with past clients is almost identical to my strategy with cold clients. It's set up to create that relationship or go deeper with the relationship. At the end of the day, how can we help you? So if you don't have a copy of my phone scripts, get it. It's in a link in the description. And what I want you to do right now is start going through all of your past clients and calling them up, seeing how they're doing and seeing what you can do to help them. Take good notes, close some deals and have fun. So like I said before, click subscribe and hit the bell. It'll really help me out a lot. And let me know what I can do for you. We'll talk to you soon.